Bolivia is a country known uh, for its indigenous identity mm -hmm. that it has a very strong influence of indigenous culture. And if you look actually at the, at the folk, folklore, daily folklore, even the higher level classes, you might say, are very strongly influenced by indigenous identity. So dances and the music. And I think that that's one of the things that most distinguishes Bolivia perhaps from other even Latin American countries where the indigenous identity influences the national level identity too and of all social classes. The way that Child Fund works is that it transforces, transfers resources directly to communities and communities are active participants and actually they're the managers of what happens with those resources. It really differentiates it from other organizations that don't really do that and don't uh, real, uh, depend and also trust communities as much as, as we do. Children in Bolivia come from poor families, so in many ways they have always been living in situations of crisis. Uh, I think that the global economic crisis perhaps exacerbate, exacerbates their, their conditions and also reduces the possibilities for income generation that parents and if you look at youth in terms of what they may be able to strive for. Youth leadership is, is a key area. The uh, communities that are organized through what we call affiliated entities, they have youth leaders. And those youth leaders uh, uh, really develop skills that allow them to be very proactive participants in the community and uh, leaders in terms of, for instance, uh, the reduction of domestic violence, for instance, where they really become advocates for child and youth rights and, and so that parents become aware of the damage, psychological and physical damage. To go into uh, a community that has an early childhood stimulation program linked to health you see four or five year old kids who come up and talk to you and they're, you know, they have, they, they're very self-confident and they're happy and they're healthy. And uh, the impact is that when they enter into kindergarten or into first grade, they really have had, you know, in the U.S. you talk about head start, mm -hmm. but they really have had head start. We have a presence over a long period of time. And you can see that not only the children, but also that the adults in time, that it really does have an impact upon their lives.